My name is Chris Pape. Most people seem to know me as Freedom. I started writing graffiti in the 1970s. From 1980 until 1995, I painted in a tunnel that later became known as the Freedom Tunnel. When was the last time you were down here? The last time I was down here would have been, um, uh, wow, it's a long time ago. I came out of Riverside Park one day and I looked down this grating. I noticed other people were looking down the grating and I thought, I've got to paint something in there. And, and so I did. I got, um, uh, I got a picture of the Mona Lisa, which I thought was the most recognizable image of its time, and uh, got a ladder and went to work. And then the next thing you know, I had another idea, and then another, and then I kept going back. I think that, you know, if the paintings hadn't lasted so long, if, uh, if I, and if the body of work had been let's say done in six months or one year it's time and then people came through and went over them um that would be different but the works had a they had a life they lived and it, it's all you can expect it is in the end it's graffiti here's the Mona Lisa let's see where the two red dots are that was the beginning of the end for that painting and that happened in 1990. The painting was done in 1980. Somebody spray painted two red dots in the eyes in 1990. And after that, everybody got it. So it had a, a decade. This, uh, when I painted this particular painting, uh, I had the, the jacket on all the time. And, and had lived out of it and had a good relationship with that jacket. The idea that when people painted portraits and things like that back in the day, they were like, yo, 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 what's up? And, and everybody was tough and everybody was aggressive. And I certainly wasn't. I was kind of, I, I, I can actually remember when I did the original drawings for it. Um, there were a number of them, uh, of different ways to go, including one that had kind of a, a pose like that but the reality is that I slouch and I just kind of slouch and I kind of walk along and amble along and I think that's the one that caught my eye the idea was that here was a character who was in this just pitch black tunnel and he's just kind of ambling along you know maybe he'll make it to the next grading maybe not it doesn't really matter in 1986 there were no more freight trains and the homeless people moved in. And that was originally very scary because they lived right where I was painting. And I was worried that they were going to destroy the works and stuff like that. Turned out I wound up having a very long and, um, and positive relationship with the people who lived down there. So sad. 
Well, this painting was done in 1995, and it was the um, it was sort of the sum total of everything that had happened in the tunnel. And now Amtrak's painted over it, um, which is not the worst thing in the world, except that they targeted the specific painting. They left the other ones, and they targeted this, which makes them art critics, I guess. After I painted this, I felt that my work was definitely done in the tunnel, I, I, because I, I had summed everything up. And who wants to be that artist who, you know, who wants to be the 35-year-old graffiti writer who goes back to the train yards um, to get that one last painting in? That, I, I never wanted to be that guy. If they continue to paint over the rest of the paintings, then, uh, you know, Will it still be the Freedom Tunnel? I mean, does a Freedom Tunnel exist without Freedom Paintings in it? I don't know. I mean, or is the Freedom Tunnel by itself just kind of a a ridiculous label that was put on it years ago? And you know, I, I was just it's just a place to paint. <laughs>